you guys, so today's video is going to be a Sephora haul, which I'm really excited about because I bought a ton of stuff. I still had a couple gift cards from Christmas time that I didn't spend, so I kind of bought things that I normally wouldn't have purchased. And that's the awesome thing about gift cards. You can kind of buy things that either you want to try out that you normally wouldn't want to spend your money on, things that are maybe a little bit overpriced that you wouldn't want to spend your own money on. So that is totally what I did with this haul. It's for like a couple days now, so I haven't really played with much of the makeup because I wanted to save it for the haul, but I did play with a few items this morning when I did my makeup. So I'm gonna go over the things that I'm actually wearing first that I bought, in case you like are wondering like what I'm wearing or anything like that. I'll go over those items first. So the first thing that I got is actually the highlighter that I'm wearing on my cheeks. If you can tell, it's kind of shimmery and bronzy, and it's the Dior Dior Ultra Shimmering All Over Face Powder, and I got it in the shade Amber Diamond. This is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty. Um, shimmery bronzy shade. The packaging is beautiful and I just kind of swirled all the colors around today on my um, brush and just put it kind of as a highlighter and I actually put a lot of it kind of towards the apples on my cheeks which I know you're not supposed to put like shimmery highlighting products kind of right here because it can enlarge your pores and whatnot but I just kind of went for it anyway and it didn't really enlarge my pores. It's really really nice so I love this. Okay, another product that I'm actually wearing on my cheeks as well underneath the highlighter, I should have probably showed this first, is the Tar Amazonian 12 Hour Blush, the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Exposed. I've wanted this one for a while now. I have a lot of these blushes but they're all kind of like peaches and pinks and I don't have any of like this kind of nude color. It's just a really pretty matte kind of like bronze shade I guess. It's really really pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my finger. It's very natural, but there's a lot of pigmentation, as you can probably tell from me wearing it. But it's just, it's a really, really nice color. I've seen a lot of people talk about this color. Highly recommend it. I feel like this is going to be like my go-to blush for the summertime, because especially if you have like a little bit of a, you know how you get kind of red cheeks and stuff in the summertime from the sun or if you're just hot? I don't like to put pink blush and stuff on top of that, so I feel like a neutral kind of bronzy matte shade like this is going to be perfect for summertime. The last item that I'm actually wearing from this haul is the YSL Golden Gloss. I got it in the shade Golden Peach. I think it's peach. They spell it kind of funny. But this is what it looks like. Again, this is what I have on. It's beautiful. Um, definitely, it kind of has a little bit of a glitter to it. It's really, really pretty. I love like these kind of peachy pink lip gloss shades, but that is all I have on my lips right now. I really like the brush. And of course, I love how it smells kind of scared about how much I love this because they have so many other shades, but yeah, I love this stuff. Okay, so this next product is actually the reason why I went to Sephora in the first place because I wasn't sure if this product is limited edition. I know it's a brand new product, but I was thinking it might be limited edition because it's heart-shaped. Maybe they brought it out for Valentine's Day or something. I wasn't entirely sure, but it's the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush, and the color is called Candy Glow. A little box like this. Almost looks like a little box of chocolates. And it's the most gorgeous like trio blush. It has three different colors, kind of like a pink color, a peachier color, and then kind of like a, um, kind of reminds me of like a NARS orgasm color right here. So how beautiful is that? I haven't used this yet because I saved it for the haul, but I cannot wait to use this. The colors look beautiful. I'm imagining just swirling them all together and it's going to be really, really, really pretty. So I love this. I'm so excited about this. I don't know if it's limited edition. I haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you if I love it, but... I do love the packaging. And then I got a couple items from Tarte. I love Tarte. You guys already know that. The first one that I've been wanting to try for quite a while is the Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. It comes in a box like this. And this is how it looks. And it's just a foundation primer. And they have another one. It's like a brightening primer. But I thought I would go with the Poreless Primer. And I don't ever use a primer really. It's Pore Refining Waterproof Line Filling, it says. Um, I never really use a primer before I put on foundation. Um, so I thought I would maybe try and start, see if it makes a huge difference. I never really have issues with my foundation sliding off or, you know, anything like that. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to try. So that's why I got this. I got the Tarte, the full size of the Maracuja Oil. I showed you the little sample that I used. I completely used it up in my January Favorites video. And I was just, my skincare routine was just not the same without it. So I got the full size. It comes in a jar like this and you just... When you want to take some of the oil out, you just push down on the lid and put a few drops in your hand and put it, I put it all over my face, on my neck, and like on my chest area, and it's just, it's amazing. I'm so excited to finally have the full size. It's, 
an awesome skin skincare product. I was actually kind of afraid to use it, like I mentioned in my favorites video, because it is oil, but it absorbs really quickly and makes my skin so moisturized. Like I can't even explain it. So I knew this was something I wanted to buy when I went to Sephora. Okay, then this is a product that actually a lot of you guys recommended to me. It's the White Russian Buxom Gloss. This is the lip cream. It's like the creamier version. There's no shimmers in it or anything like that. I bought another one of these in Creamsicle a while ago, which I love that one. It's kind of like a peachy tone. But a lot of you guys said to try the White Russian because um, a lot of other girls were talking about it and stuff. And I haven't worn it yet, but it's just a really pretty nude gloss. So that's how that looks. And I love the Buxom lip glosses. They are literally like my all-time favorite. I love the YSL ones now too, but... Buxom, there's no comparison. This is like the best lip gloss in the world. And I actually forgot that I am wearing something else that I bought. Um, I bought two Illamasqua nail polishes, which I've never used them before. I've heard really good things about them. And I'm actually kind of disappointed I swatched them this morning when I was deciding which one to paint my nails. And the two colors I got are Stance, which is like this bright, deep purple color, but it's bright. And then the color that I'm wearing today is called Jomina. And it's like this neon type of purple kind of color. It's not neon, but you know, it's really bright. So I actually put this one on first and it was kind of streaky even after two coats. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm spending over, this is like $14 a bottle on nail polish, I expect it to be like really, really nice quality and I don't want to have to put three coats on. I don't know if that sounds kind of snobby, but that's probably why I don't own any like Chanel or Dior nail polishes because I can't justify spending that money on a nail polish. So these were like total splurges, I guess, but I mean, I have my gift cards, that's why I got them. But I'm not happy. So this one was kind of thin, and then this one, the one that I'm wearing, was actually really, really thick. So to two totally different formulas. I'm not really happy with either. I don't know if I can actually return these or not, because I tried them, but not a huge fan of these. And then this product I actually ordered off Sephora.com. It was not a good idea because it's a perfume, and I usually never order perfumes without smelling them. That is something I never, ever do. But I was reading reviews on this. I was just browsing the perfume section of Sephora.com because I'm a, I am a perfume junkie. And I saw Beach by Bobbi Brown and I was like, Beach, I wonder what that smells like. And everyone in the reviews were saying it smells just like sunscreen. And I don't know if I'm alone on this, but I am obsessed with the smell of sunscreen. I know some people hate it. They hate when products smell like sunscreen. I love it. I always used to say... If there was a perfume that smelled like sunscreen, I would buy it. So when I saw the reviews on this, I immediately bought it because everyone was like, it smells just like sunscreen, I love it. So obviously there's other people out there that like the smell of sunscreen besides me, but when I got it home and it looks like this, I don't want to actually like take it out and smell it again or anything because it smells really bad. It smells like florally old lady. Like it's just, it doesn't smell like sunscreen at all to me. So I don't know what sunscreen these people were talking about, but no way. So I'm actually going to return this. I don't know if any of you guys have smelt it, but to me it does not smell like sunscreen. So I am still on the hunt for a sunscreen scented perfume. Okay, and when I was at the checkout, I saw this. You know how they have the little sample things? Um, it's the Ojan Full Detox Soap Bark Tree Rub Out Dry Cleansing Spray. So kind of like a dry shampoo. Instantly cleanses and refreshes your hair without water. So I know Ojan is a pretty good brand for hair. I tried their mask one time, but I didn't like how it smelled, so I never repurchased it. But I thought I would give this a try because I'm running low on my Redken, the Powder Refresh, which is my favorite dry shampoo. I'm almost out. I'm definitely going to repurchase that, but I just saw this. I thought it would hold me over until I repurchased the Redken one. So excited to try this. Then I bought four nail polishes in the new OPI collection. These are not from Sephora. I went to my beauty store, but I thought I would include them in this haul anyway, and I love these colors. The first one I got is this deep purple color, and it's called Vant to Bite My Neck. Vant to Bite My Neck. Interesting. I didn't even know it was called that. I just purchased my favorite one, so it's a really pretty purple color. Um, then I got I Saw, You Saw, We Saw, Warsaw. Really pretty blue kind of um a little bit of a turquoise in there but just a really pretty rich blue kind of like a turquoise especially compared to the next color that i got called opi you're so euro and it's a really pretty like true royal blue so really excited about that the last one which is probably my favorite is called you're such a budapest and it's gorgeous it's like a really pretty lilac color I thought it was going to be similar to Rumpel's Wiggins, which I have from, it was, it was from the Shrek collection, but it's not. And it's not like any other like lilac-y purple that I have, so 
really excited about this one and I am going to be swatching those and putting them up on my blog polishandpearls.com so check that out within the next couple of days if you want to see those colors on my nails. So that concludes my Sephora haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the products that I got in the comments down below. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will talk to you very soon.